Ben and Libby here. This week on our Kids Active Recess Westside Series, we have Western United FC star Josh Riston joining us for a soccer session. Grab a soccer ball or toilet paper, anything roundish, grab your sibling, grab a parent or even use a wall. Josh will keep you on your toes, coaching you throughout the process. Hey guys, it's Josh Riston here from Western United. Uh, I've teamed up with uh, Victoria University in the community and VU Sport and uh, I'm going to show you a nice uh, quick training routine that you can do at home uh, given the circumstances at the moment. Uh, before I continue, I would like to pay my respects to the Boon Warung, the Wada Warung and the Woi Warung as the traditional owners of this land and pay my respects to the elders and ancestors. So if you're like me and you don't have uh, much space at home, um, what I've done is I've gone to the park across the road from my house just to find a nice little patch of grass that I can do my work in. Um, but obviously if you've got some room at your home, you can uh, you can do a lot of this stuff there. So um, let's get stuck into it. We'll start off with a, a warm up and I will take you through uh, different exercises to get your body nice and warm with the different range of motions uh, we'll be doing throughout the exercises. All right, let's get started. All right, so firstly, what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave the ball there for a, for a minute and uh, we're just gonna start doing some jogging. Um, we're gonna move our arms at the same time just to get the whole body, uh, the blood flow through the whole body. So we're just gonna start jogging and moving your arms both ways. Go again. So this is to get the blood flow going and just get you nice and warm before we get uh, before we get started. So the next one is we're going to be using a lot of our legs uh, with some skills and passing and that sort of stuff. So we want to get them nice and warm as well. So first, most importantly, is uh, sort of the legs. So we're going to get the groins uh, nice and warm. So we'll just start with a little uh, exercise that we will warm that up with. Take it off. All right, we're going to get into the warm-up now. Um, what you need to do is just grab some things you find around the house that you can replicate as cones or markers. Um, as you can see, I've used uh, some shoes here just to map out a little space that you can do your work in. So we're just going to start off with some uh, light jogging just to get the muscles nice and warm. Up and back a couple of times. Maybe you can move your arms forward and back just to get the whole body moving. You go side to side. Keep moving your arms. And now we're just gonna get focus on the, the leg muscles as we'll be using them quite a bit through our exercise. So we'll just start off with the groins. Just make sure you get that range of hip motion going. Just lift me up and out. You build your way into it. It doesn't have to be too quick straight away. On the way back, we'll close the gates, as they're called. Just to, just to get that different range of motion as we'll be doing some passing and that, that sort of stuff later. We'll get, we'll get onto the hamstrings, just some just some low kicks. Nothing too too high. Just to just to get the hamstrings nice and warm. Alright. Now we're just gonna do some squats just to get the, the quads uh, nice and warm. Just five easy ones, don't have to go too low, just to get the bud flowing. All right, I'm nice and warm now, so let's grab the ball and do uh, some skills. Now this is still part of the warm up, so you don't want to go too too fast. And we're just going to get a feel of the ball just before we start with our skills and passing, etc. So we're just going to be moving around in the area, just moving around. Just plenty of touches on the ball inside the feet, outside the feet. It's so really important to just get as many touches as you can on the ball, so that you're nice and you've got a good feel for the ball when we go into our skills in the next part. Every now and then, all I want you to do is just stop the ball with the part with the sole of your foot, just stop it like that, and then turn and go in a different direction. Stop the ball, stop, and go in a different direction. Let's try that a few times. Keeping the ball moving inside the feet, stop, and then we go. All right, next part, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use 
the sole of our feet just to move the ball up and back. So what we're going to do is they're called toe taps. You just want to move the ball with the sole of your feet as you're moving forward. Quite simple, just to keep you warm, moving back and forth. Let's get to the other side. We're going to start going backwards. Keep going backwards, and that's how it's done. This is just some uh, just some good little tips, just to get you a feel of the ball before we start the proper set. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the, the cones or the shoes, whatever you guys have used. We're just going to set them up in a straight line. Just set them up in a straight line, maybe maybe just one decent step in between, so that we can uh, just dribble in and out the shoes. That's about right. Okay, now firstly, we're just going to be dribbling in and out of the shoes uh, with different parts of the feet. So we'll start off with the right foot, just using the right foot only, so you'll be using the inside and the outside of your foot. All right, let's go. Nice small touches. Make sure the ball doesn't get too far away from you. Just like that. Now we'll try with the left foot. Same again, inside and outside. Make sure you're still looking above so you can see where you're going, but also just getting that feel of the ball. Right now, we're just going to use the inside of our feet uh, with both of them. So, as we do, just the inside, same again, and around, getting the ball in between your feet. Now, that you can do this as many times and as many times as you like. Just making sure you're just getting as many touches as you can. So now we'll try the outside of the feet. Make sure you're moving your body on the left. Alright guys, so that's a just simple drill you can do using your cones, making sure you're getting a lot of touches on the ball. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the, the cones in random areas. Still sort of keeping what sort of area you were using before. Just a little different. Well, I'm gonna name the cones. One to four. One, two, three, four. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be dribbling around. Dribbling around in the area. And uh, I'm gonna shout a number. Um, if you're with someone, you've got a training partner, they can shout the number as well. So, um, Okay, what I've done with these cones now is I've moved them to a random spot uh, still within the area that we were using before. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to number them one to four. We've got one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to be dribbling around in the area and I'm going to uh, say a number. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that uh, the number and just stop and just pause. Now I want to do this with a bit of intensity. So um, once you get to the marker, you can pause and have a little breather and then we'll get going again. So I'm just dribbling around, four, and then we stop. And we take a little breather, and then we go again. So this is gonna replicate, obviously, different movements that you will in a game. Three, and then we stop. So it's all about reacting, because you never know where you're gonna have to go in a game. It's all about reacting to the situation, two, and then we stop. So that's just sort of something that can sort of uh, transition from a game that you can do in your own backyard. know that 265 million people in the world uh, play football um, whether you're playing in your backyard or in the team on Sunday it's really important to, to keep playing and it connects uh, friends and communities together what we're going to do next is when we see the ball on the right foot we're going to drag it across with one touch and play with your opposite foot all right so let's give it a try Cross with your right and play with your left. Make sure you're keeping on your toes again. 
important thing with this is make sure you're keeping the ball moving, make sure it doesn't stop. Just drag it from one side to the other. Staying on your toes, and again, from the right to your left. All right, that's great. So now that's sort of, uh, that's some, some principle of uh, stopping the ball and passing it. So now what we're gonna try is just try one touch, just playing it first time back, and let's see how we go. Try one touch, let it go, stay on your toes, making sure your head's over the ball so that you don't want the ball to balloon up or anything, you've just got to stay. And just one touch, just like that, simple as that. Alright, what are you going to do? Play again, make sure your head's over the ball. Alright, let's get back to the session now, we're going to do a bit of passing. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to move, uh, move these cones that we had earlier just into uh, a simple box. There we go. So now we're going to do some passing. Um, it might be different for all of you. Uh, for myself, um, it's just me and my wife uh, who live in our house. So she's kind enough, obviously, filming. So she's uh, going to do the passing with me. But um, obviously, if you have a brother, sister, mum, or dad um, that you can that you can pass with, or if you're by yourself, just simply use a wall. Um, so we've um, so we're going to do a bit of passing. Firstly, what we're going to do is just nice and nice and easy. I'm gonna pass the ball and stop it with the sole of your foot. What we're gonna do is just stop it, sole of the foot, and then right foot, just pass it again. Make sure you keep it on your toes, just stop it, and make sure when you're passing, you put your, your, uh, your standing leg next to it, and looking over the ball, and just following through, just with the instep. So a couple more, just like that. As I said, you can do this against a wall or with a partner, but just making sure you stop the ball and try finding your target. All right, next one, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move, uh, take the ball with one, one foot and move it to the other one and pass with that. What we're gonna do is move it from the right and pass with the left. Just keep on your toes, move to the left, pass with the right. Now it's important in this situation. All right, we're gonna step it up a notch now. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna play first time back. So as the ball comes, just gonna play it first time back to your wall or to your partner. The important thing is, is to make sure you're looking over the ball, head over the ball, just like that. So making sure it doesn't bobble up. Making sure you want to keep the ball on the ground, just like that. Keep it on your toes. Always be ready for when the ball comes. And just first time back. And then one more, and there we go. So there's some different exercises you can do with passing at home. Remember, if, uh, if you're by yourself, you can use a wall or you can use a family member at home just to, to pass to each other. Try maybe 10, 10 to 12 times each foot and see how you go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some skills that you can try in a game. Um, something you can try to fool a defender to get past them. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some step overs. Basically dribbling the ball. Just start with one and go the other way. So you go over with your right foot and take it with your left foot. Or you can do whichever way you want. So we'll try it this way, over with your left foot and take it with your right foot. Now this is a simple way to fool the, def fool the defender so that you can go the other way and get around him. And if you want to step it up from that, we can try two. We'll try the double. So we'll go again, step over like that, two, and then take it. Now it's important to make sure that when you're doing it, you want to exaggerate your body movement so that you're, you're, you're fooling the defender and then you can get past him. So we really want to drop the shoulder when we do it, take a touch, and easily get around him. Okay, now for those of you who want to step it up, let's try some uh, some juggling and some tricks. So there's basically a couple of simple ways that you can uh, you can flip the ball up to yourself. We'll start off with a couple of easy ones. Uh, basically, first the first one you can do is just with the same foot, just roll it back and flick it up, and then you start some juggling. Okay, if you want to try something a bit harder, here's one that I like to do. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put uh, for me, I'm right foot dominant, so I'm going to put my left foot side of the ball with my right foot I'm going to drag it with the sole of my foot over my left and try to flick it up that way. Okay now we've got the ball in the air what we're going to do just a bit of juggling left and right foot try to just do one of each left and right with the laces of your boot try getting a bit of height on there to make it a bit harder 
guys. Oh, juggling. I'm going to try to do a little sequence pattern here. So I'm going to try go from my left foot to my right foot to my left knee to my right knee and to my shoulders and then to my head. So let's see if we can do that. So that's a simple, uh, simple sequence pattern you can use. Just trying to, to get the ball where you want to go and just using all parts of your body. So now we'll try to step it up. I'm not the best at tricks, but we'll give it a go. So um, obviously a lot of you who are soccer fanatics might know around the world, so we'll give it a try. Basically just flicking it up like before. And it's basically just trying, get it on your foot and just trying to flick it around like that. What we're gonna do, we're gonna try around the world. Just like that. Very Getting on your foot. Just trying to flick it around like that. Well, there's some there's some skills you can and uh, skills and tricks that you can try while juggling in the air. All right, now let's do some more tricks that you might try in a game. So we'll just go back to our line, still working in our area. We're going to do try some step overs. So basically, this is a trick that you can do to fool a defender that you're going uh, that you're going one way and then go the other way. Basically, what we're going to do is dribble it, do two step overs to fake the defender, and then go that way. So I'll try it a bit quicker. I'm going to be dribbling the ball. And two step overs and take it in that way. Okay, so that's it for the, the skills part of the session. Um, obviously it's important uh, once you finish to, to get a nice stretch and cool down. So uh, let's have a seat, grab a drink. All right guys, we're just going to finish off the session with a bit of stretching. Start off with the hamstring. Make sure you're really feeling it in behind your knee. You might want to do each, uh, hold each leg for 10 to 15 seconds. And we'll swap. If you're not already aware, obviously I'm a uh, player for Western United Football Club. Um, this has been our first season in the A-League. Um, we're currently in sixth position, um, which is quite good for a first year in our club. Um, we had ambitions of making the finals and we're currently sitting in finals contention. Obviously, with everything that's happening around the world, let's change up to groins. Uh, with everything that's happening around the world, the, it's uh, made the league stop. So um, we're not sure at this point whether the league will continue or when it will continue. So, um, you know, it's, it's times like these that we need to stick together. Um, I'd like to thank all the fans who have supported us this year. Um, hopefully you can see some football soon. Um, but in the meantime, you can check out uh, Western United uh, website or Instagram page to, to check up on all the latest on what's happening with the club. Um, we'll switch to the quads. You know, it's, it's very important to, to stick together through these times. Um, obviously with sessions like this, um, you can improvise at home. Um, obviously, I know you all miss being at your club, um, wherever it is, but you know, you can you can do these sort of things at home and, and keep you motivated and, and keep you busy during this tough time. So, um, you know, it's 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 good that um, I can use, sort of use this platform to, to reach out to you guys and, and show you different things you can do at home through, through Victoria University. Um, really appreciate their support that they've done through the community. And, um, you know, it's, yeah, like I said, it's, it's it's time to, it's times like these, you need to stick together and um, and really help each other out and stay positive. So um, we'll just finish off with uh, the calves as your last stretch. And um, thanks for tuning in guys. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed this session and I hope you can hope you can do this at home, adapt it to however you want and um, hopefully see you guys soon. Thank you very much.